Good evening, gentlemen. Uh, good, good evening from a sunny uh, United Kingdom. No, I'm just kidding. That's that's uh, that's a fake image behind me there. <clears throat> it's been another lousy day here. You know what the British summer is like. One nice day and about half a dozen lousy ones to follow. So good evening, everyone. And um, if, you, if you're watching this on replay, hello, good afternoon, good evening, and thanks for tuning in. Okay. Uh, so the president is in the house, Mr. Mr. Donald Trump. I just spent like a few minutes just saying hello to people. Uh, Donald Trump is here. Nice to hear from you. Nicholas is here. He's in Lao. Good for you, mate. Anyway, good for you. Sean Jones is here. Uh, <clears throat> AJ, 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 AJ. Good evening, Ed. Hope you're well. Don't take any shortcuts with your health insurance. Pay the full hit. Better safe than sorry. It's only money. Okay, that's a good opinion. Okay, we'll we'll talk about health insurance. If you plan on uh, retiring to Southeast Asia, as I am, I, I've made me mind up. I'm going to be you know out there next year. Um, insurance is absolutely essential. It's a massive, massive subject. Everyone's got lots of opinions on it. So let's talk about it. You know, let's hear some opinions and and uh, see, see if we can come come up with anything. Lord of Dreams, nice to hear from you. Uh, Mazza uh, is, uh, is leaving work, so we'll listen on the way up. All right, thanks, mate. Nice of you to tune in. Leeds is here. Uh, Wayne Ritchie. Wayne Ritchie. Oh, yeah, I, I, on the Steady Eddie Live channel, you know, sometimes we do things like, um, you know, you know, do movie reviews and whatever. Uh, what's the movie Brightburn last night? It was good. I heard them making part two. Okay, that, that's good today. Good movie, that one. Good movie. Okay, Gemini star, Bentman, Nicholas. He's in Savannah Cat. Savannah, Savannah Cat. Uh, that's in Lowers. I've been to Lowers. I don't remember that town. Uh, it's a ghost town here. Well, well, what month are we in now? Yeah, it would be the rainy season. Yeah, not, not surprising. Guilty traveller. What are you guilty about, mate? Uh, evening, Eddie and, and all. So happy you are firing this channel back up. Wheels up in seven days to Thailand. Third trip this year. Oh, good for you, mate. Good for you. That's, that's fun. Do you know what? I mean, I, I've done a, few, you know, a handful of videos in this channel over the recent recent months. One of the videos was, um, you know, about sometimes your enthusiasm for travel just goes. I mean, you know, when I come back from Thailand after, after the, what, early this year, after a while, I just wanted to, yeah, I just wanted to be lazy and sit and watch Netflix and all that kind of stuff and do as little as possible. Um, and you know, your enthusiasm for something goes after a while. But now, as I see, you know, the nights creeping in here in the UK, the oncoming of winter, doom and gloom is, um, well, as if we haven't got enough doom and gloom. You know, there's more doom and gloom uh, ahead. 
And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm watching videos on, on the Far East. I'm watching videos Southeast Asia, Cambodia, Thailand, wherever. And yeah, I'm, I'm getting the old Thai blues again. Starting to miss the place. Martin R Ryder, nice to hear from you, mate. Dutch Farang is here. Yogi Bear is here. Yogi Bear comes up with some good questions on the Steady Eddie Live channel. Good evening, Ed. Good evening that, that we're all in. Uh, well, you Les kicks off today, and it's so wrong, and it's just a cash grud. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, on the Steady Eddie Live channel, where we talk about a variety of subjects, we talk about dengue people, and we talk about, um, well, it's dengue people. And, you know, last night we had lots of people saying, Eddie, don't be talking too much about dengue people. And someone called me a, you know, used a T word, yeah, T W A, what, 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 whatever, for talking about dengue. So we're not going to talk about that tonight. Maybe the next live stream, whatever. <clears throat> Heli, Heli Perselli. Okay, let's get this health insurance figured out. Okay. There you go, Martin Ryder, Mark Health Q&A. Okay. David Martin is here. Hi, Squire Eddie, another Squire. Nice to hear from you, David. He's been on the phone. We sometimes do a little bit of a phone in, even though it's not really up to much, but on the Steady Eddie Live channel. It was, you know, the reason I'm doing this live stream on this channel tonight is because this is a travel topic, and this is where you do these kind of streams. The other, the other channel, we do all kinds of political stuff and all kinds of, uh, you know, we, we we talk about everything from from the prime minister to the to the Barbie movie. We've even discussed that. Yeah, you know, not that I've seen that. I haven't actually seen any of that, but you know what I mean. Even citizen Mikey is here. Brian Street is here. Even folks, I have some paracetamol chairs. I'm not that bad, am I, Brian? I'm not that bad. It has been said before about me. I give people a headache. Nice cup of hot chocolate here. So anyway, I'd say hello to a couple more people. Shin Rana is here. Barry from EastEnders is here. Okay, let's, let's start talking about our subject anyway. I'll say hello to people as we go along, okay? Okay, so anyway, we'll just we'll just go a little little bit down there. So anyway, health insurance Southeast Asia. Now, once you make your mind up that you're going to move out, and I've made my mind up that I'm going to make the big move next year. Not necessarily to Thailand. It could easily be Cambodia or maybe another country uh, in in that region. But it will be in that region. All that connected, you know, Vietnam, Cambodia. You know, I visited Malaysia early this year. It, it wasn't my favourite country, but I'm seeing an awful lot of videos saying that's a good place for the, for the Thailand. Uh, so yeah, you know, we'll, we'll we'll what once you made your mind up to, mind up to retire, health insurance is something you have to have to consider. You have to consider it whether you're not planning on having it, or whether you think you need it, or whether you think it's a rip off, whether you think it's not all a big con. Everyone's got their own opinion. Now, I've been watching a lot of videos and doing a little bit of research on it in the last week or so. And a couple of things of, of um, you, you, you know, I, I've learned uh, if any, is, that, is that once you're over 60, you pay a hell of a lot more. One, one way or another, health insurance is going to cost you. It will cost you. If you pay health insurance, if you want it to be adequate, then it's going to be expensive. But if you don't have it, and the worst comes to the worst, and you have to fork out money as you go along for your for your you know health care while you're abroad, it could end up costing you a lot more money. It could even be totally disastrous. Open heart surgery; these things can run into tens, maybe even hundreds of thousands of pounds or dollars. So you've got to be realistic about that. You've got to make a, a firm decision about the subject of health insurance. So what one of the things that I, I actually might be moving around a bit for maybe the first couple of years before I find really, really the right place where I want to settle and live. I mean, I've got a good idea that I might just start up in Cambodia and stay there for a while and then maybe move, uh, you know, onto Thailand and, and maybe, maybe, maybe Vietnam, although visas come into it there. Their visas are not easy. 
here to stay very long in that country. Malaysia is another country. Now, Malaysia is nice. It's a popular place with retirees. So for the first couple of years of retirement, I might just still be making the transition from being someone who travels around to various places to someone who stays in the one place. What I haven't got in mind is going out there and immediately picking one place and and staying there. I know that I've been in a lot of the places already that I, you know, I fancy for retirement, but I'm still, I'm still not going to make a decision yet. So rather than straightforward health insurance, basically, by the way, there's a difference between travel insurance and health insurance, but rather than straightforward health insurance in a particular country, I was looking at something for nomad travel. And a, a company that keeps coming up time and time again is the company called Safety Wing. And this seems to be very, very simple and uncomplicated. It seems to be ideal for nomads. And basically what you do, you know, as long as you've got a bank account, you basically set up a direct debit and the payment comes out every month indefinitely. This is what happens with Safety Wing. So no matter where you go, you are covered. Now, that kind of appeals to me. And what also appealed to me is when I uh, I seen the, re the review of it and I seen the cost. It's an easy website to get into, into. You know, you go on Google, Google Safety Wing, and, you know, the site comes up very, very easy. It all looks very, very simple. And basically, for each four weeks, not a month, not a calendar month, but for four weeks, the first figure you see for four weeks cover, no matter where you are, is about 47 US dollars per four weeks. Now, that sounds really, really good. That's That sounds pretty good. 47 US or maybe 47 50, plus 50 cents or something like that. But it's about 47 US dollars for every four weeks. Now, if you add that up over the course of the year, yeah, that's really good value. But then, obviously, I mean, I'll be doing it in British pounds, which is, uh, you know, which is less than that. But you know, that's the dollar equivalent of it. It's about forty-seven dollars uh, per four weeks for cover. Yeah, you know, for health, health cover, and all the rest of it, up to about, yeah, you know, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, something like that. That's that's pretty good. But then when you look into it, you see age, okay? And you realize this $47 per four weeks is for up to the age of 39. Okay, okay. So then you go a bit higher than that, and it gets more. And by the time you get to over 60, and I'm 61, remember, that $47 per four weeks has become a hundred and fifty-seven dollars per, per uh, four weeks. A hundred and fifty-seven US dollars per four weeks. Now I work that out as over two thousand dollars a year. It's about one thousand six hundred pounds per year. It seems sim simplistic. It seems to be a popular insurance company, ideal for nomads. And I probably will be classed as a nomad, but it works out at one thousand six hundred pounds a year, and basically, a profit, which is almost almost four, three or four times what it would cost if I was under thirty nine years of age. So basically, you get penalised for being an old bastard. You know what I mean? So anyway. Let's have a teensy weensy little look at what people are saying here. Yeah, what's his name there? Mr. Skidmore Media. Safety Wing is best for sure. It keeps on coming up time and time again, Safety Wing. But what I'm noticing, when, when I'm like, you know, looking at these YouTube videos, the thing that you've got to be concerned about is a lot of these YouTube videos seem to be from younger people. I mean, to me, a 30-year-old or a 35-year-old is a young person. So when you see this, this YouTube video, this guy's going to give you lots of advice on safety wing. 
if I'm looking at a 30 something person presenting this video, then this is not the video for me. I need someone who's over 60, really, to talk my language. Uh, John Sullivan is here. Gemini Star is here. Ian Bowden, nice to hear from you, Ian. Farang Travels is here. Paul Carter. Martin Ryder, so much for Global Warming. Oh, yeah, loads of crap. Yeah, you monks, is that a whale I see in the background? Or oh, Lisa Dale, whatever happened to her? Whatever happened to her? Yeah. You know, the further away, the better. Mick Mayan, is this young Getty? You know, I don't feel young, mate. Who's, who's this? Gene, Gene Persons, wishing you well from Minnesota. Okay, fine. There, thank you. Welsh boy, Bobby. I had you. I've been trying to get insurance. It's crazy money, mate. Oh, no, no, Welsh boy, Bobby has got a YouTube channel. And I've been watching him quite a bit recently. And um, basically, he was out in Pattaya, and he had to rush back to England, uh, you know, because he had a, you know, a, a health health emergency. So, um, you know, make your Welsh boy Bobby, you know, check him out. He's got a good channel. I've been watching him a fair bit recently. Been trying to get insurance. It's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy money. It is great. I mean, the, the one thing that comes out about with regards to your health, whether you pay for insurance or you don't pay, one way or another, it's going to cost you big. It's going to cost you big. I mean, what I've just said about Safety Wing, and by the way, Safety Wing only goes up to 69 years of age. So if I start next year, that will only give me seven years. But uh, I think seven years is, you know, that's like kind of window enough. But um, do you think £1,600 a year, that's about $2,050 a year, something like that, do you think that's expensive? Do you think that's expensive? What do you reckon of that? Nicholas, thank you, mate. Thanks for that comment. Here's somebody. I'm going to take this off because it's getting a bit, uh, it's getting a bit sweaty in there. Oh, get a bit sweaty in there. Oh, oh, get a bit sweaty. Okay, where am I now? Anthony C, I would talk with Nick at Soy 7 last week. Last week, a friend of June was in hospital in Payetta, and he had insurance, but the hospital did not accept it. Had to move into another hospital, cost 15,000 baht. 15,000 baht, that's not a colossal amount of, amount of money. Depends what it is, really. Sceneries is here. Nice to hear from, hear from you. Yeah. Just sipping my uh, hot chocolate here. Ian Barton, English mate who lives in Bulgaria, says us Brits are mad for buying travel insurance. It's apparently uh, Bulgarians don't when they travel. Some people don't. Some people don't. They're, they're, you know, some, some people don't. I, I, I've actually met people. You know, some people seem very, very intelligent. And I, I, I you know, I... I've, I've met people who appear to be very, very intelligent and mature people. And when you mention travel insurance, you, you know, I don't bother with any, any of that. Let me tell you something uh, about that kind of attitude. I mean, about 15 years ago, I was in India. And, uh, you know, I was, you know, I was really enthusiastic about me travel then, you know, getting, <clears throat> you know, traveling to various places. And in India, southern, it was in the southernmost tip of India, the town in Kerala. And um, I remember talking to a Manchester chappy. He was, you know, like this ale, and he was a bit, bit bombastic and all that. And I, and he, he, he got fed up with England. He didn't want to even hear about England anymore. He'd had enough of the place. He was about 53 years old. And he said, don't mention England to me anymore. I've got the post and I've had enough of that place. He lived in Sri Lanka and he had to go to India to get his, uh, renew his visa every now and again. And I said to him, I said, you know, you've retired out this part of the world. What about insurance? I mean, what happens if you get the big C or whatever? And his attitude was, you know, kind of bombastic. Look, mate, if you if you get if you get the big C, all the bloody help in the world isn't gonna help help you. You worry too much. And I thought his attitude was a bit dumb, really. I mean, yeah, I thought I thought it was a bit of a dumb attitude, but you know, I suppose with regards to, to with, with like the big C, 
you can say it coming. I mean, if I was, you know, living abroad and I was diagnosed with the big C, I'd be on the first plane back here because I'm still registered with the national health in this country. And I still have a, I will still keep a foothold in this country. I don't give my personal details out, but I will still keep a foothold in this country. And I will still be, pay, I, while I'm abroad, I will still be paying my national insurance. That's very, very important to keep doing that. Um, so, you know, if, if I get the big sale, I need an operation, I, 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 would, I would come back here. I'd pay my national insurance. I've paid it for many, many years. I'm entitled to it. Um, but it's the sudden things like a heart attack. That's the thing that you... But then I, I said this in the video the other day. You know, you, you know, you get insured and, you know, you're insured in case you have a heart attack. With a heart attack, you know, a lot of people don't even make it to the hospital, mate. You know, you've got to be realistic, haven't you? You've got to be realistic. Some people are more, some people worry more than others, don't they? That's the truth of it. Ivan, good evening. Lynn Elferson, what's wrong with paying cash? I know Mexico is fairly cheap. Um, I'm not really planning on, on uh, heading down Mexico way. What's wrong with paying cash? Well, we'll be, I mean, assuming Mexico is like Southeast Asian in terms of its attitude to health. What's wrong with paying cash? Is that if you are, if you need a major, major operation and you cannot get back to England, paying cash, it could be a hell of a lot of cash. I mean, £1,600 a year for safety wing, in 10 years, that will be 16000 uh, yeah, you know, so it's a lot of money. I mean, if you need an operation like, you know, surgery and all that, that large amount of money that you pay for your insurance might seem tiny in comparison to what you might have to pay. You know what I mean? Hospitals don't come cheap, no matter where. <clears throat> Ian Bowden, he reckons it's all a waste of money. Who Who knows? Well, you see, this is it, you see. I mean, will these companies pay out? Will these companies pay out? I mean, everyone's, it's all, you know, it's all about attitude. But if I was to go abroad and live out there and say, bollocks, I don't trust any health insurance. I'm not having any. I'm going to save me money. I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother with, with, with any of that. I'm sure I would meet people who would say, you are crazy. You're absolutely crazy for not having health insurance. You're, you're crazy, crazy. Something bad will happen to you, you're crazy. I could easily say to that person who has health insurance, yeah, but if you have health insurance, are you 100% sure that they're going to pay out? You may be paying all this money for it, but when it comes to the crunch, when you fall on the floor unconscious and be you know rushed into an ambulance, are you 100% sure that they won't find a way to get out of it? Because that's what, you know, health insurance, insurance companies don't get rich by paying money out of people. Bob White. Hello, Eddie. I'm working night shift in Qatar. Okay, nice to hear from you, mate. Nice to hear from you. I hope all is well out there, mate. I'm sure it's a lot, a lot the weather's a lot uh, better, better there than it is here. McLaren, good evening, Eddie. I promise we aid more tonight and keep my thoughts suppressed. Uh, uh, you're okay. You're being okay. Um, we do we do a phone in um, on the on the on the other channel, Steady Eddie Live, and um, a lot of people don't trust it when I put the phone number on the screen. They think, oh, that's a scam. That is, that's a scam. It's like, no, it's not a scam. It's just an ordinary pay-as-you-go phone. But yeah, you know. But uh, Clive currently. That's McLaren, currently holds the record for phoning in. He's phoned in more than anybody else, so he's proof that it's not a scam. Anthony C, cost him 15,000 baht to transfer him to another hospital that would accept his insurance. Well, it, it, uh, it depends how urgent it was. Telecom is here. Good evening, Eddie. It's those in the chat. Nice to hear from you, Mark. Telecom, great to hear from you, mate. Mark's in Minnesota, so I hope I hope uh, you. Everyone's probably having good weather, except for us poor Brits. I mean, the thing is, the school holidays are almost over here. 
And I feel sorry for the for the for the British people, the families who bring the kids on holiday to England to caravan sites and all of that. I mean, the weather's been absolute rubbish during the month of August. Nice to hear from you, Mark. Anyway, Mark Leo, have you checked out Safety Wing uh, travel insurance? It seems to be very popular with di digital nomads. Yeah, it is. It is, and it's got it's got a very very appealing website. It's so uh, it's so appealing that even I can use it. I mean, I was looking at it last night and I was making the calculations, and it seems to be. Seems to be, I I like I said you you know uh, a few minutes ago. I, I think you know for the first couple of years of retirement, I will be moving about a bit to find the exact right place for me because there's there's so many places I like in Southeast Asia. I like Cambodia, I like Siam, I like Siam Reap, Phnom Penh. Um, I even like Kampot. I like that place when I went there. I also like uh, Bangkok and Pattaya, and there's places in Vietnam that I like. So I will be moving around a bit. I think what I'll be doing is maybe renting condos long term. I'm looking at doing that. Uh, yeah, you know. So I think it's. I think I'm going to en en enjoy it. So safety wing travel insurance, nomad insurance. That that would be ideal for me uh, to start start off with. It's popular with digital nomads. It, it is, and like I say, the website is very good. But you know, when when they say you know. Um, 47 pound 47 dollars a month and i thought well that, that, that looks good that looks good that looks good and then you know you look at the age and when it comes to my age uh, uh you, you, you know 157 dollars a month is you know it's expensive and you know and also the thing about another thing about safety wing i want to mention as well is that that is quite a new company if you actually look at it it's only been around since 2018 so that's five years old I like if I'm going to trust something of that importance. I quite like something that's been around for a long, long, long time. The longer it's been around, the better. I mean, to me, to me, a a, a five-year-old 2018 2018 company that's a new company. Now, how do you know that you know you, you get insured with them and? Um, you know, when it comes to the crunch in a year or so or, or whatever, you know, it doesn't fold up because, you know, it, it hasn't it hasn't had the longevity yet. I mean, a company that's been around for 50 years, that's not going to fold, fold up anytime soon. But one that's been around for five years, you don't really know just yet, do you? But, yeah, I mean, that's, that's you know, it, it depends whether you think 1,600 quid a year is, is good value or not. Uh, I've never paid the health insurance. Good for you, mate. Okay. Bob White says health insurance is required. Don't self-insure, guys. Okay. Okay, fair enough. He's very, very decisive about that. But, yeah, you know, the thing is, it would be wonderful in an ideal world if, if you were to say, right, I'm not going to be stingy. I'm not going to take chances. I'm going to pay me money. I'm going to pay me money and get 100% insured in case the worst comes to the worst. It's not 100% because, like I say, if you, if you, there might, might even be something on your medical records which you, which you don't class as a pre existing medical condition, but they see it as. I mean, I was a little bit vague about high blood pressure. I mean, you, you know, I, I've, I've had, you know, high blood pressure. Uh, in, in recent years, but I've lost a bit of weight now. And the other week, when I uh, had my blood pressure taken, he said that seems a bit high, but not as high as it was a year ago. So my blood pressure is going down. But the fact is, once they write things down on a form, uh, you know, a doctor's form, you, you know, it'll come back and bite you on the ass. If you've got high blood pressure, that means you're more likely to have strokes or heart attacks. Um, so high blood pressure is classed as a pre-existing medical condition. You might not say it that way, but it is. And if you don't declare it, it could come back to bite you on the ass. So, you know, let's see. Um, yeah, let's see. Telecom. 
Good title for the song. I've got the Thailand blues. Okay, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I have got the Thailand blues. I mean, I was I'm starting to miss that place. Guilty traveller. This channel and the chat. The, guilty tra this channel and the chats and everyone's comments got us all through the mess of 20. 2020 2021 okay that's very very nice of you to say so i mean i was doing a once a week live stream. it was wednesday night at 10 o'clock wasn't it i was doing a live stream, and i was doing it on my mobile phone uh, to, to begin with and um yeah you know it was it you know we, we know it was good that we all come together and if we were going to be miserable let's be miserable together and that's the purpose of it like you know if you've got any ideas let's come together and share a few ideas Thanks for that. Anyway, Wayne Ritchie, Wayne Ritchie, Eddie, I pay $35 a month for my health insurance at work and it's really good at work, at work. You're in America, aren't you, Wayne? I mean, how about in another country? You see, the, th the thing is, I mean, if, 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 um, <clears throat> if you're going to use the America, a lot of these companies, uh, travel companies, They'll ensure you to, you know, where, wherever you go in the world, except for countries like Caribbean and America, uh, simply because if anything goes wrong with you there, the cost of the, of the American medical service is astronomical. Uh, you, you know what I mean? So, you know, they, um, it's, 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 you know, you know, I mean, that, that's why they want to ensure you there. Uh, Citizen Mikey, I need another holiday. Being invited to a wedding in Bangkok in November. Probably too short notice. I don't know. That's still about three months away, isn't it? The Book of Gwen. Nice to hear from you. Tinks. Eddie, get on the bed and have a bit of fun again. Been off the booze for five months now. Five months. Jiao C. Rotter. Hi, Eddie. I'm insurance broker for 23 years. Always verify each policy coverage instead of Tell you about each policy company instead of paying premium. I look for well known names in the industry locally and internationally. Look for well known names locally and internationally. Yeah, that's right. This is what I'm saying about Safety Wing. Now, Safety Wing has become a well known name. It's, it's, there's a lot of videos there on the internet about it. And for, for the nomad travel, it seems to be the perfect one. Uh, but it's only five years old, that company. It was no, a Norwegian, it started off in Norway. And now I think it's based in California, but it is, you know, I'm, I'm not entirely trusting of a company that's only five years old. Let's see, Roger, Roger Manifold, can't fault you for making the move long term. The value of being sucked out of the UK. It's not that I don't like the UK, but you know, it's a, you know I just, I'll tell you the reason, I'll tell you the reason I, I, I want to leave the UK. It's because I think it's bland. I think the UK is bland. Just look at that behind me. Look at that behind me there. Just look at it. Look at that picture. That picture was taken in the month of, um, I think it was February. At the beginning of the last year, I think it was February. February. Fe well, what do we get here in February? Bloody oh, freezing. Astronomical. You know, heat and bills. That's what we get here in February. We'll just look at that. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, you know, that's what I want. I just find England to be very, very bland. And we have crap weather there. We have crap weather. You just never know. I mean, I mean, the summer, as, as a way of teasing you in this country, um, you get a bit of a heat wave in June and people start rubbing their hands together. Great. Summer's here. Yeah, you know. Uh, summer's only here for about two bloody weeks in June, and then it goes, and then you know it might just you might just get another little burst of sunshine in September, whatever. Well, the crap. Paul Hoskin, how much does a bed bath cost by a Thai nurse three times three times a day? Oh my God Almighty! I said, wouldn't it be? Fun? That's supposed to be fun, wouldn't it? One of those old Carry On movies about the hospitals was. Was made by ties, you know, carry on, you know, carry on, carry on, Thai hospital. I'd like to see that. Be bloody fun. I could play the Sid James part, you know, the dirty laugh. Nicholas, I should have gone down to Cambodia, but Air Asia did not deliver now. I'm waiting for a refund that is going to take three months. I should have gone down to Cambodia, but Air Asia did not deliver. I had a, didn't I have a flight to Cambodia once? 
from um, from Bangkok to I think I don't know if it was it might be with Lion Air to Cambodia and it cancelled it. Oh, there you go, I lost about a hundred quid on that. But they did refund me money. They did refund what I least expected. Sean Harris, I think you use travel insurance. For the price of other insurances, it might be worth getting a return flight for the UK for the price you, you would pay. Okay, okay, okay. Brian Street, well, no, there for my health. Okay. Oh, you yeah, paracetamol, paracetamol. Yeah, let's see. Ian Bowden. All respect to the man, but insurance didn't help to see the old Kevin Thailand. He flew back here in the end. I don't think, as I recall, you know, God bless him. I used to watch him a lot. I, I, I watched it, watched him a lot, but I don't actually think he had insurance. I think, don't forget, Kev was, he hadn't made it to 60. I think he was only, he might have only been 58 when he was diagnosed with, can, with cancer. And um, I think he was waiting to 60 to get it, you know, for some of I see they call you know to get a better deal with it. I don't think he has to have it, but you know he he he, he, he you know uh, it's it's sad it's sad you know it's that's that's yeah you know very very sad what happened to him. David Coleman, I was just watching the video on Angeli City. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I don't think the Philippines is 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 figuring in my my retirement abroad. Maybe maybe because of the geography of it. I mean, I don't like I don't like airplanes. We want to go out that way. I don't want to be getting another other airplanes. I like the idea to cross it from Thailand to Cambodia by road, um, <clears throat> Cambodia to Vietnam or Lao by road. I don't want to be getting flights to places. Uh, so I don't really think the Philippines is really figuring at the moment. Uh, Bob White, what is this big move? The big move is is that next year when I'm 62 years old. Um, I reckon, you know, around maybe maybe springtime. I could be looking at springtime ne next year, which is not that far away when you think about it. Um, I'm planning on retiring to Southeast Asia. Matthew Cartwright, nice to hear from you. Andy's Adventures. The guy who owns the Hacienda bars on Soy 7, Nick, Nick Dean, he says he pays a 1,000 bars a week in all, and it's worth it. Not sure what package he uses, Though, as I saw it on one of his uploads in 2021, really, really, I don't recall that one. I do what to do, what to his channel. Um, a thousand bars a month that's about 25 quid. Uh, well, 20, no, sorry, uh, 25 quid a week. So it's basically about a basically about 100 quid a month, 12 and yeah, that's that sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah, that sounds pretty good, reasonable. Roger Manifold, 300 quid for a one-year Cambodia visa is good value. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to, I'm just going to pour myself. No, I'm not going to have another hot chocolate. I'm just going to quickly, I'm just going to quickly nip and um, qu qu quickly nip and uh, get myself a quick drink. Back in a minute.
Okay, David Coleman. Nice to hear from you, David. I turned 65 this year and I've been told my travel health insurance is going to be really high. Okay, mate, let's talk a little bit about, um, you know, age. I, I was quite shocked at that when I seen that quick calculation on Safety Wing. Uh, there's a huge, huge difference between $47 a month and $157 a month. It's a huge, huge, huge difference. So, I mean, when you're over 60, I mean, I suppose you're on the scrappy, but really, aren't you? Nobody, nobody wants to know you. Um, <clears throat> safety wing, let, let's see, they won't even insure you after 69 years of age. And I'm, I mean, in fact, somebody else mentioned, mentioned in the comments on a, on a, on a video uh, that, that once you get over 70, you, you know, you, you will struggle to get any form of insurance. Uh, really, I mean, I suppose it is what it is. You, you know, you, you know, you can't turn back time. Um, you know, he's, he's Davy says, but but the thing is, what I did notice with Safety Wing, I think it goes, I think it goes from sixty one to um, oh, sixty one. I think it goes from sixty one to sixty five. It's one hundred and fifty-seven dollars every four weeks, not a month. Every four weeks, but then if you if you go from sixty-five to sixty-nine, it doesn't go up from there. It's still the same one hundred and fifty-seven dollars, which is uh, which is okay. But once you get to sixty-nine, that's it. They don't want to know after that. So, um, do you think that that you know two thousand dollars? Um, or, 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 or 1,600 quid, uh, sorry, yeah, $2,000 or 1,600 quid a year. Do you think that that's expensive? Jared Rooney, uh, well done, Eddie, great topics. Okay, thanks for that, mate. Paul Say, hello. He said, man, nice to have you. It's not all about health insurance. It's about being able to pay your medical bills. And they're not, they're not not what why <clears throat> not one the same okay, and they're not one and this one and the same oh okay, but I do you know what the worst nightmare the worst 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 nightmare is <clears throat> to take a heart attack or have some kind of what what are the sudden you know you know you know sudden life threatening uh, uh, you, you know things can happen to you other than accidents. I mean, a heart attack, you know, st stands out. To suddenly have an heart attack and, you know, you urgently need open heart surgery and uh, then getting billed for bloody 200 grand or whatever. I mean, that's an absolute, uh, that's the worst, the worst thing. <clears throat> but insurance is not necessarily going to get you out of that. You know, they're not, you know, they're going to spend that kind of money if, if they can find on a form somewhere that you've had high blood pressure in the past. Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> nothing's guaranteed. There's a chance in everything. You know, everything is, is taking a chance. Kiki and Jasmine and say, "Look, I'll be paying nine hundred dollars a month." God, that's ex God, that's expensive. I'll be paying nine hundred dollars a month. Is that American dollars from June? In June 2024, with is that just you or is that you and a partner or a family or whatever? Nine hundred dollars a month, very comprehensive policy. I'll be not being inside, by the way. Uh, Nine hundred dollars a month. What is that a year? That that is. Are you sure that that's right? Did you mean a year? Maybe. Well, God, that sounds extortionate. That does. Ian Bowden. It goes up from 60, I don't know what age does it go up further than then. Um, <clears throat> well, with state safety wing, uh, it doesn't go up any any further. It goes up, you know, at 61, I think it is, um, or 59. Yeah, I think it goes up at 59. But um, it doesn't go up any further, further than that. It just stops, you know, at, at uh, 69, that's it. End of story. No way, Jose. Hasta la vista, baby. You're 69 years old. Don't bother getting insured. You're ready for the knacker's yard. It doesn't go up at all. So you've got to think of other things then. <clears throat> Martin Wright, my mate from New Zealand, paying over a grand. 
for his latest trip to Europe. He's over 80. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes outside, doesn't it? The older you get, the older, the older, the older you get, the, the more astronomical your insurance is going to be. But then you know, at the end of the day, mate, <laughs> I don't know. I suppose you're lucky to be alive at that age. Some people don't even live that long. I, I always will say, with um, regards to, uh, you, you know, in, insurance for, you know, a, you know, 70 plus or 69 plus. Also says I've still got a few years to go before I get there, so I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. That's all I can say about that one. John Duggan, only works when you need it, then you will only find out, okay? Bob White, hospital charges in Thailand can be millions of Thai baht. A million Thai baht, what is that? Is that about 20 grand or 20 odd grand in English money? I suppose it, it, you know for um for 1600 pounds with safety wing with sa safety wing 1600 pounds a year um <clears throat> and that would be from next year which would be which would be I'd be 62 then so that that would be um 62 to, to 69 so I'd only get 7 years out, out of that anyway so what would that be 1,600, uh, 8,000, 8, 8, what, what would that be? Nine, ten thousand. It'd be 11,000 something, what, wouldn't it, for that seven-year period? And then when I get to 69, providing I'm still alive, well, then then I'll make another video and we'll talk about it. You can hold me to that. When I'm 69, I'll do another live stream. We'll talk about it then. Guilty traveller. The folks who are 100% self-insured are taking a big risk. If they have if they have savings assets to lose, they should have some. That's that's it. You see, I mean, because you know, if the worst comes to worst, and you need a you know a a, a life saving operation. I mean, and it's going to bill you for tens, maybe even the hundreds of thousands of pounds. It's quite possible. Then it could wipe out all your savings, all your retirement savings, couldn't it? It's quite possible. It's not impossible that that could happen. They should have some type of catastrophic health insurance plan which covers serious illness issues okay now i would make it make any seem about the fact that you know i was told a couple of years ago that i have high blood pressure but on a recent visit to the doctors um they took me blood pressure and said that's a bit high you know but then they took it again well, that's a, that's a bit better i think my blood pressure has gone down i haven't checked it but i think it's gone down and it, it's gone down. I, you know i'm not sure what categorizes high blood pressure whatever but I think it's better now than it was before I lost the weight. Uh, don't, forget, don't forget, I've lost a couple of stone in recent times and I'm off the booze and I'm eating a little bit healthier. And I think this is the important thing as well to discuss about, about health. Uh, one of the best insurance, you know, health insurances that you can have is looking after your body. I mean, that really, really is. Be careful about what you eat and drink. And basically, if you have high, high blood pressure, I think really what, what you need to do, I need to do it, is, is certainly, is to start looking at more, but you, you, you know, you know more cholesterol-reducing uh, foods. I mean, right now, I'm still trying to lose weight. If I can get down to my target weight, I will start eating some of the foods which I'm not eating now. Bananas are supposed to be very, very good for reducing cholesterol. I don't eat bananas now because... They, um, they're quite high in calories. But when I get down to my target weight, maybe I'll start eating a few of those e e each day. And uh, nuts, nuts, all, all, the, all the doctors and medical reports will say nuts are good for reducing cholesterol, but they're also very, very high in calories. So, um, yeah, you know, maybe once I get down to my target weight, you know, I'll, I'll start um, maybe, you know, eating, eating a bit more of that. Yogi Bear says, Ed, I would never go anywhere without travel insurance, but I never have health insurance as I need to come back to the UK. I would never leave my co country for good. Yeah, um, I, I've always had travel insurance. I've never been abroad without it. And I've never used it. I've never, ever used it. I mean, I mean, this, this is the thing. I'm sure this is in the back of my, some people's mind. They're paying all this money for travel or health insurance. 
which he's never ever used. And was, I'm some some people must say, you know, if only I had all that money, money back. But uh, it's sod's law. The time that you don't have it, that's when you probably need it. Thailand Thomas should always have it unless you you a lot of cash without insurance or cash. Get sick, you die. Okay. David Coleman always get the best health insurance you could possibly afford. So, um, do you think two thousand dollars a year is expensive, or is it is it, is it, is it you know you know a good investment? I mean, two thousand dollars. If I was to live abroad, I'd expect to you know, I'd expect to pay about twenty twenty thousand dollars a year to live abroad. Twenty thousand dollars a year sounds about real realistic. Uh, twenty thousand. That's about sixteen, about sixteen thousand UK pounds, roughly, a year. Sixteen grand. So I suppose one thousand six hundred for health insurance. I suppose that's ten percent. So if you pay ten percent for your health insurance, that doesn't really seem that bad, does it? That doesn't seem that bad, really. I'm sure some people pay more than that for the car insurance. The book of Gwen, interesting. Okay, okay. Yeah, Mr. Tidy Garden Channel. Eddie, make sure you get the snip before you leave England. Okay. okay that's hilarious, that, isn't it? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Bill Flyer, I made, be moving out to Pata Bill here, moving out to Pataya on 29th of September next month. Good for you. First thing, retirement fees, second thing, health insurance, for sure. Okay, fair enough. Martin Ryder, can we all come and visit you? We'll sort that out. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm going to be, I'm going to be around for a while, you know, provide my health holds up. I'm going to be in, indefinitely in Southeast Asia, indefinitely. Yeah, Marco Polo, some Italian guys stopped paying the insurance at 70 and got sick and needed hospital treatment in Isan with big fees that could not be paid. Don't be that man. Okay, fair enough. Like I say, with, with regards to 70, okay, I can really, really understand what people are saying. That once you get 70, you know, they, they'll, they, they won't insure you or you'll struggle to get insurance. Well, I'm 61. When I retire next year, uh, uh, you know, at, at 62, I will have eight years to go before I reach 70. So I think really, if, if I can get the next eight years, my aim is to live a bloody full life, not to live a dull and boring life. If, if you know, if, if I get to 70 and I think to myself, well, for the, at least for the last eight years anyway, I've been living the life of Riley. You know, I don't know what's going to happen at 70. You know, we'll see. Bob White, have fun. Then he turned to UK when he hit 75 to 80. Don't die in Thailand. Uh, I wouldn't want to die in the UK, to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> let's, let, let, let's see. Yeah, OK. You're entitled to your opinion. Same as what happened with 60 seconds in Thailand. I don't know who that is. I'm not too, not too sure who that is. Yeah, Kipax, Eddie my mate paid 1,100 quid for a month in Thailand for insurance. He's over 70. Madness. I know, it's no cheap game, is it? If you're over 70, I mean, you do see these old fellas who, who were in Thailand. Some of them were quite well old. I mean, in Siam Reap, uh, I was sitting in a cafe with somebody who knows me from YouTube. We were sitting there, and this, this chappy stopped, this old chappy. He was a big chappy. He, he, he stopped to talk to us, and he lived out there. He was 85. He was 85 years of age. I'm pretty sure that there are some people who, are, who, who live in these countries who haven't got insurance, you know. I mean, has he got insurance at 85 years of age? Maybe he's loaded. Maybe he's paying an astronomical amount for his insurance. You, you know, we, you just don't know really, do you? But um, also, there's also some of those other people. There's, there's, some, there's some like vloggers, live streamers, there's some people who, 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 who are in the uh, the chat, some of the younger guys as well, some of the young, younger guys, 
who were a little bit re reckless on the live streams and don't give a damn about anything. I'm pretty sure that some of those guys who have not got any form of insurance, I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah, you know. Let's see. Duncan know. I'm going to retire in January for seven weeks, but need to do a visa run. Where's the best place to go in Cambodia? Uh, well, the, the visa runs, well, they've um, some of those border crossings are not what they were. I would have said Poi Pat. If you're in Pattaya, I mean, well, yeah, you're in Pattaya. Well, Siam Reed Poi Pat, that would be the best one. That would definitely be the best one. Yeah, inbound nearly 200 in the chat. We've got over 300 now, over 300. Uh, Gemini start Malaysia is definitely affordable. I I I went to Malaysia for the second time early this year. Um, the first time was about 20 years ago. But I went there this year, and it doesn't really do it for me. But a lot of people, if you get to an older place, I can imagine that place grows on you. There's a, a lot of good things about, about Malaysia. And um, I like the island of Langkawi. You know, it was duty free. And beer is quite expensive in, in Malaysia. But then I'm not drinking right now. So I wouldn't rule that out. I wouldn't, you know, for the time anyway. Christopher King. I remember Kevin Thailand. It cost him a fortune in hospital bills in the end. And he had to come home. So be very, very careful. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And he wasn't that old either. He, he, he was younger than what I am now. He, he, he wasn't that. He wasn't that old, really. So it's it's you know life deals are bad hand of cards to some people. Book of Gwen. I reckon keep moving so you don't end up like a sitting duck. Okay. Now the thing is, with regards to you know keep moving, being a nomad, you might think, come on, you'll be sixty-two then. You've got to find one place to settle down. But I've always travelled. You see, I've never stayed in the one place. I think I will still travel, but at a more pedestrian pace, maybe stay in six months or a year in one particular place before moving on and, 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 and whatever, and maybe renting condos. I won't be staying in hotels. I'll be renting condos, which I've never really done before, but if I'm staying in any place for a long time, I'll be renting condos. So there'll be plenty of stuff for me to make videos on, definitely. Lynn Elferson, are, are, the, are your parents still alive, Edward? Uh, leave the UK, UK, UK for good. Um, it's, no one's ever asked me that before on here, funny enough, Lynn. Mal, right for Kickstarter of Logan Insurance. He went to a company in Bangkok. Okay. Bob White says, hit the like button. Okay, thank you for that. Telecom. Eddie, retired in a lovely country like Minnesota. I'm sure it is a lovely country. I'm sure Minnesota is 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 is, is a wonder what you know is, is I would love to see America. I really, really would. I think I've missed the boat though, because if it was to see America, I'd like to see the whole of America. And um apparently it's become very, very, very expensive in this day and age. But Mark is from Minnesota and he, he loves the place. And you know, uh, for you know, full credit to him, full credit to him. He loves the place that he was brought up in, whereas me, I could, the place that I was brought up in, I couldn't wait to get away from there. Thailand, Thomas. I would rather die in Thailand than sitting in a little room waiting to die. Fair comment. Teddy Ko. Just watch Welsh boy Webby video. He got a blood clot, blood clot in his heart in Pattaya and no insurance. He nearly died. Okay. I do watch I do watch Welsh boy Bobby. He, he was in the chat earlier. And I, I know he released a video earlier this evening, which I will I will watch. And and, and anyway, I will, will watch that one. Martin Ryder, some banks have free travel insurance. Yeah, but that's only for about a month. You don't have a free because, I mean, those kind of accounts, don't they charge you? I've had an account like that with um, HSBC ones, but they charge me for it. And what annoyed me is that they were charging me for the insurance when I wasn't even using their insurance because that was for a month. 
whereas I was going away for many, many months. Yeah. My, 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 uh, yeah, Mayor Judge App Reinhold. Is that, that sounds like a German command, that, doesn't it? Mayor Judge Elt. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. That's not, that's a sick joke. Made up at App Reinhold. I'm not going to do any unpleasant. I'm not going to use the word nasty uh, salute. I'm not going to do that. That was a bit of a, <laughs> of a joke. Okay. Made up App Reinhold. That's like a command. That, that. Good name. Good name. Vietnam is introducing a multiple entry three month e visa. I think you can get at the airport on arrival. So things are changing. Vietnam was tipped as uh, the, the new Thailand many years ago. It was tipped as um, it was tipped as you know the play the in place to go the perfect retirement place. And then all of a sudden they pulled a fast one on everyone and chased all the expats out. And now they've gone back to a three month visa. And you know they keep swapping and changing Vietnam. David Coleman, I'd be happy to die in Thailand. They give you a really nice funeral, and then I have monks, monks, and everything. I, I, I want a Benny Hill funeral. I, I, I want to, I want, I want to have my coffin carried through the streets of Bataya with a loads of loads of those scantily clad go-go uh, dancers chasing after it, Benny Hill style. Let's see, Marco Polo. He sounds like a traveller. Uh, safety wing is good, but limits 69 years. Yeah, well, I've you know I've got a few years before I reach that, so that that would do for starters. The more I think about it, the more I think 1,600 pounds a year is uh, is quite reasonable. That's about 10 percent of what I would expect to to live on out there. Let's see. Yeah, Kiki and Jasmine, if that's the case, you need worldwide cover, including or excluding the USA. Okay. Eastern man, Queen Syracuse Heart Center in Kokan is a government hospital and only gets great reviews from all who used it. Go on Asia now. He said he had two heart stents there this February. 236,000. 236,000. Well, what, what is what is that? Is it what is that pounds? Bar? Well, what, what is that? What is that exactly? Let's see. Paul said, Eddie, people who travel to Thailand and stay in Thailand should have insurance. Why? Okay. Paul said, yeah, Paul said, because, of, yeah, this is the second part. This is the answer to the question. Because if they sick, then they use Thai hospitals and then have no money to pay. Basically, they take something from the country, Thai people who have less. They, you know, if they get sick, they use Thai hospitals. They wouldn't be using, you know, I don't think they would be using Thai hospitals because the Thai hospitals want them to pay the money. And if they haven't got it, then it's off titty. Bob White, most travel insurance is maximum 90 days. Okay. Who's this? See, you know, top cat, Mr. Ebert, come and live in Bangladesh. Not a country that's on my list. Who's that, Brian? Yes. Who's, who's this? Bill Flyer, no insurance. Are you serious? Yeah, well, I'm not planning on having no insurance. So I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. The Book of Gwen. But if they don't pay up, how do you enforce that in the foreign country? Uh, but, you know, if it, well, you know, they have a saying, don't they, in Thailand, no money, no honey. Okay. Paul C. If you live in Thailand, 60 years old, it's 40,000 baht. Okay. That, is that insurance for the year? For, what's 40,000 baht? That's, um, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's a grand in English money, isn't it? About a grand. Guilty traveller. Best to find a Western policy which is better regulated and provides international coverage. 
Okay, fair comment. Okay, Mark Martin. <clears throat> Martin Ryder uh, knows how he's he's gonna bite the bullet. I'm gonna go like Shane Warren. Uh, yeah, okay, fair enough, fair comment. Sceneries, will you still do live scenes when you retire abroad, Eddie? Monday, Tuesday, Fridays will be happy. Um, th there's a time difference. You see, the thing is, when you when you get into Thailand, it will be it's um it, it's there's a time difference in Southeast Asia, isn't there? So I'd have to um you know, do what I did last time. I mean, the thing is, I'll be doing live streams in the early hours of the morning. So uh, I'm not, not sure just yet. Paul C says Pacific Cross. That's that's a that's a name. I haven't really investigated that you know, you know that, but that's a name that keeps bounding around, uh bounding around. Farang travels, self-insurance is the way to go. Well, I wouldn't do that. I, I wouldn't do that. Self-insurance. The big elephant in the room is a heart attack, of course. But self-insure, I, I wouldn't do that. I don't I'd have some form of insurance, definitely. It definitely. I you have to you can't be a hundred percent sure about your insurance, but I definitely have some insurance. I, I wouldn't do that. No, I wouldn't do that. Paul Hoskin, Benny Hill did a comedy sketch on the NHS care versus private care. Uh, what what's what's the um what uh, did you I don't recall that sketch? I remember Chubby Brown's joke. Uh, <clears throat> you know, he's he's come to make a it's good to make a spam uh, donation, and then the bloke gives him a test tube. You know, he, you know, he says, "Go and go in that little room there and take these mucky magazines with you." So Chubby Brown goes in the room with you know with some mucky magazines, you know, and having a you know bashing the bishop and all that. And there's a curtain there, and and he can hear noises behind it. So he pulls the curtain back, and there's this fellow with a couple of big sexy. Sexy blondes, yeah, you, you know, stark naked, you know, sandwiching the guy, and you, you know, you know, and all this kind of stuff. And he was fuming. He he, he went back out. He said he he says, "Hey, f face." Yeah, you know. I suppose this is a case of if your face fits. There's me bashing the bitch into a couple of mucky magazines, and there's still some some bastard there with a couple of sweaty men just rubbing all over them. Uh, you know what I mean? And the, and the doctor says, ah, oh, yes, sir, but you're not a member of Booper, are you? Okay. So I think it went something like that. That was Chubby Brown, that was. Thailand Thomas spent three days in the state hospital in Ban Pai with a lung infection. Total cost, 309 US dollars. Three days in the state hospital in Ban Pai with a lung infection. Total cost 309 US dollars. Okay, 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 fair. Thanks, thanks for that information. <clears throat> yeah, Bill Flyer says, I think it will cost me between 100 and 150 quid a month. Well, that's that's what I, I I yeah that's that's basically what what I'm lo I'm looking at if I was to go the way of of um, safety wing, which is nomad travel insurance. Um, it's yeah, it's about that. It's it's more like the, it's it's closer to the hundred and fifty quid a month. This is Paul. Say if you're sixty five, you need medical at Bangkok Hospital, and then you're all set. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Let's see, Spirit Travels. Yes, insurance of 50 plus gets expensive. Okay. Matthew Carr, I said it's not worth it. Yours Travels is here. Yours Travels is here. Nice to hear from you, Yours. I have a few medical issues when I declare them. They will insure me, but won't cover any heart issues due to pre existing heart condition. Um, see, that's it. The very thing that you want is the thing that you can't get insured. You know, that this is the, um, the Cats 22, isn't it? This thing. I've never had a heart attack, never had a heart attack, but I've been told I've got high blood pressure, but I was told that a few years ago, but I'm still here and I've never, ever had a heart attack. Only thing I've ever suffered for, a reoccurring thing, is the odd gout or, or whatever. But um, 
But the fact is, if you if, if you declare that if you are told that you've got high blood pressure, then that is classed as a pre-existing medical condition. And to me, that means that if you have a heart attack, they're not going to pay out. That's what it means. Eastern man, what about location? Everything I can find about Cambodia says if it is anything serious, it's a medivac job to time. Yeah, I mean, they have, um, you, you know, the, the uh, medical the, <clears throat> insurance they have in Cambodia, if you're going to be living in that country, uh, 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 let, let's see what was the word? evacuations about because if you took a heart attack or anything serious, you will probably be airlifted to Bangkok Hospital or maybe Hong Kong. So, um, by all account, by all accounts, it's uh, you know it's not adequate for that. Tinks, okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> Let's see, Nicholas, I could have gone to a bank. I've never been there. I've never been there. Peter, Peter, yeah, okay, nice shirt. Okay, fine, thank you. Telecom, I'm on Medicare, so my US Medicare works in Thailand. I mean, you know, oh, America, I mean, we have the National Health in Britain. I mean, you know, even though you know, gets negative. I mean, if you need the national health, it's, it's going to be there one way or the other. And like you say, I will be keeping a photo. I don't give my financial uh, or personal details out to people. But let's just say that I've got a foothold in England and I'll still be paying my national insurance. Uh, so if I, you know, if I got like a terminal illness, I would, I, well, terminal illness means that you're going to die, doesn't it? But I mean, if I got cancer, you know, the big C or whatever, I would be getting a, I would be back on the first plane back here because I pay my national insurance here. I mean, those ones who come over on, you know, dinghies and things, I mean, they don't pay national insurance, do they? I pay national insurance. So I'm entitled to uh, use the British National Health. Uh, Mark is on Medicare. So my US Medicare works in Thailand. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. All, all as I know from what I heard about America, you know, if you um, if you if you want medical insurance, it's going to cost you a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Dino Taylor, it's fair to say fifteen hundred is the not quid is the norm, but I'm going to self insure. See, fifteen hundred quid. I mean, I'm looking at sixteen hundred for a safety wing. Yeah, uh, sixteen hundred, fifteen hundred. Um, let, let's see, let's see, is that no, I'm going to sell it? You see, it, it's doable. I mean, the thing is, if you lived in Southeast Asia, uh, it, you know, 1500 is within 10 percent, it, it's, it's about or maybe even less than 10 percent of what you would be living on out, out there because it's not that cheap to live out there. I mean, I think you know, li living out in Southeast Asia, maybe 16, you know, six, 16 grand a year should be enough to live out there maybe a little bit more than that maybe a little bit more than 16 grand a year um but uh let's see let's see i mean i mean 1600 would be within 10 percent of that so to, if you can get your health insurance covered for 10 percent of your overall living costs i think 10 percent is quite reasonable to be honest with you I didn't at first when I first seen it. I was I was just bloody shocked at the jump uh, from every four weeks from forty seven dollars to one hundred and fifty seven dollars. I thought, what? What the hell? You know what the hell? That's ages, and that is. Um, but you know, when I think about it, it, makes sense. Kiki and Jasmine, the most important thing with a policy is to look at the list of hospitals and clinics your policy covers. Yes, yeah, somebody said the guy who lives in the Philippines. He said. That he lives close to a hospital, and uh, you know, so if any, anything is is urgent, then the hospital is not very far away. Maybe that's an important thing to consider. Zibao, Chuck Norris doesn't need health insurance. Uh, it's, he's only a human being. God knows why. Yeah, 
Yeah, McLaren says, I can't understand why you just don't want to stay in the sunny UK and play bingo. Okay, fair enough. Guilty traveller. Look for the policy which is a waiting period. Moratium for pre-existing uh, conditions. Um, are you saying that, um, you know, I've seen something like that. It was phrased in a different way, but I think I know what you mean. Paul Hoskin. Okay. <clears throat> Daniel Kelly, nice to hear from you, Daniel. I would say 80% of retirees in Thailand don't have insurance. Most can't afford it, so they just live there as best. If it's a bad illness, they go home. Well, I'll tell you what, the thing is, I mean, the more I think about it, um, 1,600 quid a year, I, I think for me personally, I can only buy, go buy my own personally, 1,600 quid a year is doable. That's doable. And, you know, it's about six, it's about 10% of what I would pay for my overall living costs out there. So I think that that's reasonable. I will not be going down the road of self-insured and putting the pot of money away and, uh, you know, thinking oh, it, it's the pot of money is there when I need it. Because a pot of money, that, that's going to run into a, an incredible amount of money. And it, it, could, it could possibly wipe out your whole retirement funds. It could. I'll say that again because then that's important. A pot of money put aside for your for your health, you know, for your uh, health, uh, a pot of money could possibly wipe out your whole retirement fund. It's much better to get insured. So I will. Um, Bill Flyer says, skimp on your health insurance at your peril. Okay. The book of Gwen. Yeah, but how do you enforce safety wing? Um, you enforce, how do you enforce safety wing? Well, it is a new company. I mean, it's five years old, so it is a new new company. But um, I don't know. It's all over the internet. It's the name that's being bounded around a lot these days. Dino Taylor. 20 grand sterling is a good amount to put, put aside. 20, 20 grand... See, see, 20 grand sterling is a good one. Now, I'm pretty sure if you had something like open hearts, it, it, it'd amount to a hell of a lot more than that. Miles more, more than that. And plus, 20 grand sterling, that would get me more than 10 years of safety wing. You know, safety wing insurance. That would get me... That would get it get you get a lot of uh, travel insurance for 20 grand. I know the thing is, may, may, maybe if you put 20 grand and then you never have an issue, then you've still got that 20 grand, okay. But you know, but what are you going to do with it then? I mean, the fact is, it's um, I don't think 20 grand is anywhere near enough, personally. I really, really don't. Paul C. Hey, if you're old, then the probability of issues is larger, so your risk is greater, and you need to pay accordingly, okay? Telecom, visiting is one thing, but to move there is, 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 is another. I, I, <clears throat> one of the th reasons I want to move to Southeast Asia is because I, I want to go on a one-way ticket, and I, I really I just don't want to come back to the UK for a very, very long time to come, if ever, if ever, really. I could quite happily live in Thailand. I could quite happily live there. Or Cambodia. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, Book of Gwen, he's 60. Okay. Paul. Pre-existing conditions are not covered. Okay. Ian Bowden says, only a wise and smart p p person can see through marketing distortion. Okay. Fair comment. Fair comment. Okay. So anyway, we've had a good little response. We've had over 300 uh, in the chat. I'm just going just to quickly grab another one of these. This is my favorite co-op diet ginger ale, which I love very much. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay.
let's see, Super Stephen. Oh, yeah, you're coming over to Thailand again next month. Okay, good for you, good for you. Spirit Travels. Travel insurance for over 50s is expensive. And if you've got pre-existing conditions, then it gets even more. And if you get the best cover, then it can be even too expensive. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <clears throat> Your travels, yes, pre-existing conditions are not covered. I think that I'm... How far behind the chat am I? Who's that saying 9 to 16 p.m.? How far behind the, the, the chat am I? Sorry, but I'm, I know that I'm miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles behind the chat. Miles behind the chat. So sorry if I've missed everyone. Jesus, I am miles behind the chat, aren't I? But at least I, at least I, you know, I replied to the chat. <clears throat> The book of Gwen says it's a waste of money. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm just going to go. Jeez, I didn't realize how far behind I've fallen on the chat. I really, really didn't. Apologies to that. Okay, John Mitch is here. I'm just going to skip through the chat. chat. Apologies if I missed that. I didn't realize that's that's a record. I'm what, almost an hour behind it. John Mitch, my advice get nice to hear from you, John. My advice get your insurance locally where you retire to. UK insurance, too many hoops to jump through with UK insurers before they pay out. Okay, okay, that's that's good to bear that in mind. Okay, okay, yeah, th thanks for that, John. Uh, <clears throat> Delay, Dave, people who travel without insurance are the biggest mugs out there. They're selfish. Their relatives are left to pick up the bell. Well, this, this, this is often the case with young people who go traveling, isn't it? Uh, you, you know, um, you know, you, you hear stories about a young person who, you know, had a mountain of, you know, accident and then their relatives have to pick up the bill. No one's going to pick up my bill. I mean, I'm brave. If I'm going to do it myself, I'm, I'm not expecting anyone else to pay my, my bill. Asian paradise, if you have high blood pressure, you better have good insurance. Okay. So I'm just going to skip through this. David Coleman says, we can only leave Canada for six months at a time. If we stay out of the country, we lose our health insurance. Okay. I don't know what system you, ha you have, really. But uh, that seems... Fairly draconian, that does. Paul C says people should not be there if they can't afford the insurance. Okay. I think some, some people can afford the insurance. They can afford that. But some people are just naturally stingy. Some people are naturally tight, aren't they? You know what I mean? That's the way people are. Bill Flyer. Also, if you're unlucky enough to get really sick, you might not be able to fly back home. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that's that's fair, fair comment. Not until 100%, mate. Nothing is 100%. There's always chance with everything. Gary, you, Gary Hughes, why pay more than National Insurance? Then? You must have paid 40 years, and if so, you wouldn't get any additional benefits. I still pay my National Insurance. Here we go. And, you know, I'm so so far behind with the chat. A real big apologies. About an hour behind. Uh, Bintman, 1600 uh, isn't expensive if it, sa if it saves you mega money for an emergency operation or even saves your life. Can't put a price on that. You take your chance in this life. Nothing is guaranteed. Very, very well said. And, you know, like you say, I was shocked at the price of 1600 simply because it was far more than what, uh, yeah, you know, uh, you know, if, if if you're under like um, 59 years of age or or, or whatever, uh, or or 39 years of age, but the more I think about, it, the more I think it, it's reasonable. Thailand, Thomas, I had a triple heart bypass, cost around 10 grand USD. Day, okay. Roger, mindful. You need only th 
You only need 35 years of national insurance for a post-aid pension. Anything over doesn't count. But if you work one year over the retirement age, your state pension will increase. Okay. Martin Ryder, a friend of mine had a hernia operation in Bangkok 10 years ago. Cost him $200. He was back in the same in the bar same day. Those little tiny little ants make great surgeons. Okay. Buka Gwen says health insurance is a scam. Okay. Now, Barry from East End says, I ended up having two operations, one in Thailand and one in Bali. Both would have cost five grand each. Um, insurance cost 80 quid for a whole year. It's a no-brainer. Okay, that's that's fair, that's fair enough. That's fair comment. Fair comment. Thanks for that, mate. Anyway. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, Issa man, young people are not really at risk for a heart attack, but they don't get travel insurance that covers motorcycles and adventure activity. Okay, that's fair comment, isn't it? Let's see. Scott, yeah, you're right, Eddie. These insurance companies will find thousands of reasons not to pay out. Okay, okay. You do have to, maybe if you're going to pay your money and sign up for anything, you, you have to really, 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 really think carefully about it. Don't do it lightly. I did see a video of some guy, like he was, he was, he was living out, here, out there, and he, um, <clears throat> and he says he's got his insurance sorted, you know, he, you know a few little questions. Reasonable value, ticked a few boxes. There you go, done and dusted. Well, I think he's taking it too casually, personally. I think it's not as simple as that. Paul Hoskin, embarrassing claiming on your insurance from the STD clinic. Okay, good old Paul. William. Uh, he said, my, my mate died of a heart attack at 43 three weeks ago. I did not see That's terrible, young. That, that's no age at all. In the Philippines, if Kiki, uh, in the Philippines, if you don't have a policy or the cash to cover the procedure, they will not touch you. Okay. Absolutely. No money, no honey. Yeah, Billy Bob, Billy Bob. Safety wing reviews show many four and five stars, but these were from people that had not made a claim. Those that have made a claim gave it one and two, two. Problem with them processing, delaying and rejecting claims. Okay, thanks, thanks for that. There is a video about someone, he's quite a young person who's made a claim. I must, I must watch that video, the truth, the truth about them. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Watch as many watch as many videos and, and read read as many reviews as possible on these things. It does help enormously. Yeah, Kev says, Eddie, I'll be moved to Thailand next year. Can't wait to get out of the UK for good. Okay. Wayne Ritchie, Eddie, I pay thirty-five dollars a month for my health insurance in the USA. Do my work and it's really good. Oh, that sounds good. Sounds reasonable enough. That that sounds good. Lewis Berlingham, uh, Kevin Thailand didn't have insurance and it cost him nearly fifty thousand pounds. Okay. Ian Bowden says, all insurances are legal scams, but some are, are, are less or more scamful than others, if you know what I mean. Okay. So let's see. Okay, Daniel Mills says, 
This is the biggest downside to moving to Thailand, sorting out health insurance. Once you meet your late, reach your late 70s to 80s, I doubt they'll even insure you over there. Well, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. But the thing is, the biggest downside, I mean, what's the alternative? I mean, I've fallen out of I've fallen out of love with Britain. I find Britain to be a very, very bland place. And it's not the place that I want to spend the final years of my life. I'd rather take a chance and be out there somewhere like that, somewhere like that behind me. You know what I mean? Hard Shulam. Eddie, I just saw Dan's video. I saw just Dan's video. He's talking about safety wings. He said that you have to pay the hospital first, then put in a claim. Yeah, 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 probably. Yeah, probably. Wouldn't surprise me. Ian Bowden. Come on, Ed. When do you think you will book your flight? Always great to have a flight book. Something positive to look forward to. There's things I've got to sort out beforehand. There are things. I reckon springtime next year. I reckon that's only about, it's not that far away. It's not that far away. Eight months away, something like that. That's not that far away. That will come around. And at least when I make the big move, I'm, I'll be going on a one-way ticket. At least when I make the big move, I'll have everything solidly sorted. So I'm just going to skip through this simply because. Yeah, Telecom says, I watched Kevin Thailand vid. So sad to learn of his passing. Absolutely, because, you know, he was he was enjoying life out there. But, you know, like, like the old, you never know what's around the corner. At least he lived his life. At least, at least he, you know, he, you know, he loved living in Thailand. And at least he lived his life to the max. <clears throat> yeah, sh Shock City Rocket. I did require health insurance and travel to, in Southeast Asia now. I don't think required it, but I think it, it's down to you, really, isn't it? Yeah, Barry from EastEnders. Uh, to be honest, would you be able to sleep at night in Thailand if you didn't have insurance? I'd be constantly worried. That's a good point, Barry. That's a good point. I'd feel, I, I, however imperfect it is. I'd still feel better if I had the insurance. So I'm just going to skip through all of this. So let's see now. Let's see now. Let's see. Let's see. I'm just going to skip through this. Okay, we're going to have to, we're going to, have to finish soon because this has gone off a, a real big... I just didn't realise I was so far behind with the chat, but there's been over 300 people in the chat here, so a big apologies if I've missed it, but I do I do read the chat um, and I respond to people, but um, a big um, apologies if you know, I've really, really fallen behind. I'm going to try and skip through a bit. Yeah, oh, oh, I got a super chat as well. That one guy, two dollars. Okay, thank you for that, mate. Thank you, thank you for that. Eddie is no gynecologist, but he'll take a look. Okay, uh, where, 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 where was that? Was I in the windmill? Was it the windmill in Pattaya? And oh, yeah, I felt like a gynecologist, and I was taking a look. Thanks for that super chat, mate. Adam Marshall, UK can be bland. It does a good job of being bland, but it's also a classic. It is. The UK is probably a great place to live if, if you're a, if you're a billionaire. Anywhere, anywhere is bloody good if you're a billionaire. But it's uh, you know it, it's just it's not the country for me any year. Yeah, Michael DiCaprio. Hi Eddie. Having any travel or health insurance, then take more more risks. Oh, I won't be taking any risks. Definitely not. Definitely not. Rusty Led is here. I've met Rusty Led. I've had two cancer surgeries in Thailand. 
pays everything, goes in pocket. Still costs less than my co my copay in America, and the service was excellent. Okay, well, that's you know that's good to hear anyway. And I'm well, you know, not that you had cancer, but um, it's good that it, that came to a happy ending. Bill Flyer, after 63 years of working hard and struggling in this shit all this time to bite the bullet and live my dream, good or bad, okay? That's a good attitude. That's a good attitude. Ian Bowden, Ed, did you ever go to Laos? If so, did you go into the real country outside of Vientia? Yeah, I travelled all through Laos, and it is a beautiful country. I crossed over from Cambodia into the, I think they call the 4,000 Islands, which are lovely. You know, when you see the water buffalo bathing in the river and all of this kind of stuff. The 4,000 hours, lovely stuff. And then I traveled through Lao to a couple of dull towns and then went to Vientiane and Luang Prabang. And, and I think there's a town called Pak Beng. And the Mekong journey through the, uh, the journey through the slow boat, uh, slow boat through the, the Mekong River, fantastic. Joe said, said Good to see you making plans, buddy. Always a positive move. Used to enjoy your intoxicated observation on life. Now another chapter in your interest in life. Okay, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Let's see. Yeah, Telecom says, the few days I spent in hospital, the blonde Swedish nurse would give me nightly massages to prevent bed sores. Yeah, I don't know. And she yeah, I know, and she, she was. That sounds like bloody. That sounds like a good place to be. That sounds like the hospital I want to be. Okay, Rob Bellamy says, "Well, Eddie, great to see that you're looking really well, my friend. Very fresh, indeed. Hope you're been behaving yourself. I have, with regards to the food and drink, I have." Yours travel says, "I worry about getting my medication while in Thailand. My next trip is three or four months, and my." Doctor said they will give me the four months. Okay, well, best of luck to you anyway. Best of luck to you. Okay, so. Daniel Kelly, Eddie, what do you mean when you say you'd be the time you mean lock, stock and battle? Well, yeah, I'll still be doing things on the internet. I mean, retiring from other work, but I'll still be doing things on the internet. I'm actually writing a book right now. I've, I'm over, almost finished it. I'm over, almost finished my book. It will be, it will be, I'm glad that you mentioned this, Daniel. It will be one of those e-books. I'm planning on getting it put on Amazon or, or, or whatever. Um, it will be an e-book, and it will be about five scousers who go to Bataille, okay? And uh, get us all kinds of mischief, and and that should be coming next month. So, uh, you, you know, you, you you probably you won't have heard the last of that. I will mention it uh, when it's up and running. Okay, so I'm going to skip through this anyway. Okay, so anyway, we'll be an offer of an hour and 30. It's been plenty of people in the chat. Uh, remember, there's another channel that I do. I usually do Monday, Tuesday, nine o'clock live streams, but it's not necessarily travel. We talk about other things, uh, you know, about people coming across the channel and dinghies and, and we, we, you know, your favorite movies and all kind, kind of stuff that we talk, talk about on that. But I thought I'd do this tonight simply because this is a very, very important travel to a topic extremely important anyway and i really really thank you guys for your input tonight i mean i've decided that maybe 1600 quid a, a, a year is reasonable i think if if, if 10 percent of your expenditure what, whatever your your monthly or yearly uh plan is to retire abroad what if you could spend 10 percent on it on health insurance then I think that that's ten percent. That quite that's quite reasonable. Quite reasonable. Let's see. Yeah, Ian Brown says answering your question. I would be content with paying a hundred quid a month 
if I can be guaranteed that it was genuine cover for all kinds of needs except genuine. I don't know. Is there anything genuine? I'd like to think. I'd, I'd like to think it was genuine. You're going to pay that amount of money. I'd like to think it was genuine. But is there any such thing, really? Okay, telecom ten thousand eight hundred quid. What's that for? Is that for seven years? Over seven years. What is that for? I'm miles behind in the chat. Okay, so the chat. Apologies once again. Let's just say, I'm just going to, okay. Here we go, guilty traveller. Just check, Safety Wing has two main plans. Travel plan goes to 69. Nomad held 74. Really? Usual travel coverage is, is usually set for the set, set days. Yeah, well, that's, not what I, that's not what I checked. Because I, cause I, um, I was looking at Nomad. I'm sure I was looking at Nomad. And it's set up to 69. I don't think they're dealing with you after that. Okay, so I'm just going to skip through a little bit of this. And I'm going to skip through with this. I probably waffled on so much that I've missed out on, on it so much. Let me see now. I'm going to skip over the chat. We've had over 300 people in, in, in uh, tonight in there. Yeah, that is something. Well, yourself says, Welsh boy Bobby must have gotten, got on a flight against doctor's orders. They won't let you fly with heart condition. That's causing problems. Really? See, that's, that's, see, that's interesting now. Yeah, that's interesting. Maybe uh, you know if, if you know. Suppose your insurance has got a, uh, you know, a, you know, includes repatriation or evacuation. Yeah, Martin Ryder. Okay. Run into any UK A and E department at hospital and shout immigration check. It would empty out. <laughs> okay, absolutely. Good idea, mate. Good idea. Yeah, telecom. I do plan on visiting Thailand, not just to live there permanently, unless I find a nice girl. Go there. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's very, very popular with Americans. And, and Cambodia is also popular with Americans and, and Canadians. It's, it's a... Go there. Everyone should go to Thailand. It's a wonderful place. So I'm just going to, I'm getting close to the chat. I'm going towards the end of the class. Isan man, what about traveling between countries? Will your insurance cover that? Or are you going to buy travel insurance on top? Um, nomad insurance, I'm pretty sure it would cover that. Don't forget, I've had travel insurance and I've never ever used it, you know, for accidents and, and stuff like that. I've never ever used that. I mean, the nomad insurance, I'm pretty sure that that would cover accidents and that sort of stuff. I mean, as for, as for you know, you know uh, robberies and, and losing valuable stuff, I, I don't have any valuables anyway other than my laptop. And uh, even that's not that expensive, so I wouldn't worry about that. Okay. Eason, man, what do, you, what, what do you think will happen to your insurance premiums if you make a big claim? Well, I would have thought they'd go up, really. Okay, so... I'm just going to whip, whip through this anyway. Yeah, Asian Paradise says the best insurance is the companies that won't hassle you when they have to pay out. From what I've read, Pacific Cross is one of the best in this regard. Okay, have a little bit, bit more of a look at that. I haven't really looked into Pacific Cross, to be honest with you. Uh, but I will have a, a look at that one, fair enough, because that's a name that keeps coming across. It, it keeps coming up now and again. 
frequently. I say, oh, I'm, see, I'm, I'm, I forgot what I'm bloody talking about now. Get me me words mixed up. There you go, Michael DiCaprio. The best insurance provider you can get is you looking after yourself. Okay, well said. Okay, so I'm going to skip through this anyway. Where are we now? Yeah, Jason Bond says you can get plenty of drugs in Boot Pharmacy in Thailand. A lot of which you would need a prescription for in the UK. Just goes to show how you're getting ripped off in the UK. Okay. Hey, here's an important, important comment. Ray, Eddie, if you want to get rid of your high blood pressure, start using cayenne pepper and Celtic sea salt daily. They work a treat. Credit to Australian nutritionist Barbara O'Neill. Okay. Well, that's a, that's a subject that we're going to have to talk about how to get rid of, you know, you can't just get rid of high, high blood pressure, but how to combat high blood pressure, you know, cholesterol busting foods. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. <clears throat> David Coleman says England is a great place to visit. I spent a week just in the British museum. The country has so much history. It's so sad the way it's becoming. The way it's coming now, it, it, that's all England's going to have is history. Bobby Crush, nice to hear from you. My mate in Thailand was crying because a Thai doctor told him he'd have to take a tablet every day for the rest of his life. I said, what's wrong with that? He said, he's only given me 28 tablets. Okay, fair enough. Like it, like it. Telecom safety wing up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in emergency medical coverage. I think that's I think that's worth having, then, isn't it? If it if it was if it if that was genuine, then I think that that's worth having. If it really really worked out that way, okay. So anyway, we've been on for nearly two hours now. It's getting to two hours. I'm going to finish with this soon. Okay, Bobby Crush is supplying us with a bit of humor. He's, he's from Liverpool. He knows what humor is all about. Bobby Crush, doctor said to me, stand by the window and pull your tongue out. I said, well, why? He said, because I don't like the fella over the road. Bloody good, mate. I like that. I like that. I like that. That is really, really good. I like that. Okay, okay. Yeah, Anucha, Anucha Kahneman. Hello, as you may be when you take out insurance, you are more likely you might need it. Unfortunately, something might happen to you by then. Okay, fair, fair enough. Okay. <clears throat> Ecom, I've got a sneaky feeling I'm going to enjoy this live stream. Well, you're a bit late to the show, but thanks anyway, mate. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to... Here we go. I've caught up with the chat, okay? <clears throat> Harold Betterson is here. Had my first night sober in four months. Thanks to you, mate. Okay, so anyway, <clears throat> we've waffled on a bit. We've talked. That's what this is all about. That's what the um, the old live streams that I used to do. You know, it's, it's not about me just, you know, giving my opinions. It's everyone coming together and giving a variety of uh, uh, <clears throat> opinions, and we can learn things together. I've learned a few things tonight, you know, I've, yeah, yeah, you know, but I've more or less made my mind up. I mean, to summarise, I think insurance, first of all, it's not 100%, nothing's 100%, but insurance may seem expensive to begin with, especially if you're over 60. But if... Um, <clears throat> If, if it amounts to 10% of your overall retirement expenditure, I mean, 1,600 quid a year, I'd be planning on retiring on 16 grand a year. I think that's quite reasonable. So if if it's 10% of your overall, then I think 10% is quite reasonable. It's not as bad as, as what, it, what it first appears, okay? 
So anyway, I'm going to end this now. Anyway, I'm going to say, <clears throat> I'm going to say thanks for watching, guys. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. We've had over 300, and as we go towards, you know, you know, towards retirement, which is still, you know, until next year. Um, I'll be doing a few more live streams and videos on this channel anyway. Maybe do a regular live stream on this channel. Maybe get back to doing this once a week any, anyway. Okay, so cheers, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this this useful. And uh, and I'll see you pretty soon. Steady Eddie live uh, probably at the weekend any, anyway. I usually do a live stream on Friday night. We'll see about that anyway. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good week.